Hello everybody and welcome to a very special video. Today we're gonna be playing through the first 30 minutes or so of The Gardens Between. This game just came out today, the 20th of September. It is out on Switch, PlayStation 4, Mac and Steam, that's right, Mac as well as Steam. And uh, it is out for t about $20. And I'm, just full disclosure, I've managed to get a code from the devs, the Voxel agents. Very grateful for that. I reached out because I was very interested in playing this game. I was gonna buy it anyway, probably, because I love the look of it. There's time manipulation, some interesting puzzles. Love the look of it. It sort of reminds me of a braid, but I really don't know much about the actual gameplay. And I wanted to keep it that way on purpose, as always. We're gonna experience it together as we go into it right now. So we're gonna check out our settings here. Graphics, maximum graphics enabled. <laughs> Shadows, that's correct. We don't need V-Sync. We don't need FPS limitations. Full screen, everything is fine. Music is okay. Let's just roll it. It's been a long day for me, but I've been looking forward to this game for quite a while. So even though I'm quite busy putting time aside for this because... It looks like the game really deserves it. And hopefully I can give you an idea of what it has to offer. And we're in. And this is pretty much what I saw in the trailer. Like the look of the... The look of it in general is what captivated me. So, arrow to the right. Time moves forward. <laughs> arrow to the left, time moves back. So sure, you can roll time back. What is it gonna do for us? You can roll it all the way back. So these giant boxes are like... The, the, the sort of boxes you do when you're moving house, right? Like, you have them labeled as... Uh, bathroom, arena's room... Arena presumably being one of the character's names here. Lounge room. And the only way... Uh, I'm just trying to inform you here as a viewer, the only way I'm interacting with the game is pressing A to go backwards, or D to go forwards in time. So you can't really control what the actual characters are doing at the moment. Space lets us interact. Very interesting concept so far. One of the boxes is now a planet. It's one of those experiences that sort of lets you figure out what's going on on your own. Doesn't really explain things explicitly. 
which I can appreciate for sure. You think we can interact with the... Yeah. So what does that do for us? Now if we go back... Yes. We can capture it. Use it to activate the bridge. Very cool design. I don't know how many people are, are part of the studio, but... I'm pretty impressed with the graphics. I mean, not, not that it's, you know, crisis or anything. But it certainly doesn't lack charm. So that thing sort of sucks the, the light out of our lantern. We would like to avoid that, if at all possible. Like, if we go here, we're gonna lose it. So let's try to roll back. We can't roll back further than this. So... If we jump here, is there anything we can do? We press space. Doesn't seem possible right now. Let's try to interact with this. And uh, just a preface to all of this, I suppose I should say, I'm not very good with puzzles. And looks like the dude can actually interact with the thing, whereas the girl can't. Manage to close off the plant there. The energy-eating plant. Very good. This is sort of topical for me right now because I'm about to move house. So, like, all these moving boxes just m make me all the more anxious to... ...to actually move. So if you do this, of course, bites us in the ass. In case we go back here, we're just gonna leave it closed. Let's interact with it. Let's go. I sort of dig it. I mean, it's... It's simple, right? At the end of the day, you're just controlling backwards or forwards. When it comes to time. But as always in these games, you start building. You present the base mechanics and then you start building on it. So it'll be interesting to see where they take it. I'm still not convinced are these brothers. can roll it forward here. Is this some sort of map? Keep rolling it forward here. Looks like that's where we came from, so if we go into here... <laughs> I love the idea of a floating house. <laughs> I mean, it's like a raft, but it, you know, it has its roof and everything, it's quite charming. Oh! It's a moving bad guy now. It wasn't a bad guy, was it? It is, the, he, he took away our... ...our thing. Okay. Take it back. Is there anything potentially we can interact with... ...as the guy? Okay, let's just keep rolling it. I mean, I do see the the ball up there, but... Okay, so we're gonna keep going here. We're not gonna be able to interact with that just yet. Huh? 
How about this? Now that thing has it, so if we take it back... Eww, I see. Yeah, I'm not very good at puzzles, but part of the fun will be us figuring out some of these together. You get the light, you activate the bridge, and that's the ticket. I enjoyed the music so far, I gotta say, man. Okay, so we can give you the lantern. There's a massive... <laughs> oh, it's coming from the hose. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that. Let's go ahead and... See what, what that does. What did that do for us? Closes off the, the plant. So if we now were to go back... Oh. Dude, I think I've seen the Matrix. I glimpsed the Matrix. Again, it's interesting because with minimal input from the player, it has a it has a layer of, you know, puzzling things out. have any way of preserving if we go through here that thing's gonna eat our ball all right keep going here keep going we're gonna find a way there it is that's the ticket you give it to the thing and then you roll it back Okay, the thing has it. Okay, got him. Give it to here, let it capture the, the thing. What are we gonna call it? Is the ball? <laughs> There's probably a better name for it. So let, let's just roll it forward and see if we if we manage to capture it. We did not manage to capture it. Okay, take it back. Take it back. Oh, dude, can we interact with the? Nope. Okay, take it back. So we could take this, but I, I don't think there is anywhere we can capture. We can give you the thing here. And we can actually jump, but we don't have the ball with us. Okay, you know what? The thing has the lantern. I'm calling it a lantern, I don't know. The vessel. <laughs> I would just need to go back until it captures the ball. Hopefully. We can't go back further than this. Let's see. Is there any way okay, I think I think I got it. I think I got it. You take this, you grab the ball, you take it back. You give it to the thing and then you go forward. You roll it forward all the way. And hopefully... Oh, I got intercepted. Disaster. We had it. Okay. 
Okay, so that thing is a problem. How do we... There must be something we can interact with as the dude. Let's see, if we roll it back enough... Is there anything the dude can do? Can we keep rolling it? No? Can't. I'm looking for stuff the dude can interact with. We understand it's not gonna work with that. It's fine. Let's just keep rolling it. I think I missed something the dude can do. Like, if we give it to you here, there's nothing that's gonna... That's gonna help us. We keep going. There must be something the dude can actually do. To shut down the plant. Because that was always the case before, so we just missed it. And that's okay, we'll, we'll keep rolling it. Roll it back. So here's where you can grab the ball. You put it here and you send it to the next stage. Alright, so here you grab it. You go up, maybe like this you can circumvent the, the black hole of death. Now it's gonna grab our thing. It's gonna grab it. If we put it on this... Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Dude, it took a little bit of thinking, actually. Okay, we cracked it. We cracked the code. Let's go. It's like so subtle. It's one small moment in space-time <laughs> where you gotta interact with things in a certain way. What are we ultimately doing, though? And I do mean that from an existential point of view. Is there... ...some sense to this? I'm trying to understand... ...what's going on. I mean, you know, some games, it's they're just abstract and there isn't really like a... ...a physical thing that you're... ...doing, and that's fine. But something tells me there is... There is something here. Oh! Rebuild the tower. Okay. So... I'll probably need a couple more of those to un fully understand the interaction with that. General consultation. <laughs> I love that the scenery is basically made out of everyday items. Okay, so what are we doing here? It lets you roll back or forwards. That is so cool, man. Holy shit. So, is that just... Rolling back and forwards something specific in the scenery in this case the like the dominoes thing So here you're switching I, I understand what you're doing So in this case we can we can actually do this safely because we're only getting the ball past this point Oh no, but if we roll it back we're screwed. I understand. Okay. Go ahead and pop it. Grab the ball. 
you go back, you pop it again, right? So you can keep going back. And now you go... Roll it back. Soda wave. Dude, I think we got it. I think we got it. Close it. GG. Love this one. This one was very cool, man. With the dominoes and stuff. Let's go. Check out that gamepad. <laughs> oh, dude, nice CRTV. That remote that brings memories, man. I used to have a TV like that when I was a kid. The dude is in front this time. Okay, so show me. Can you take it back? TV is now on. And the only thing you've done is put the cable back on so we can... Can we climb on it? We can maybe roll it back. And now can we do stuff with the controller? Dude. No. Can the guy touch... Okay, keep, keep rolling back. There'll be some... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. What did you do? Did you turn on, like, a channel or something? Okay, roll back. So when the guy is here, can you interact? Or you press space? Oh. We're rewinding the tape. <gasps> Dude! I didn't realize we were actually rewinding the tape. Okay. Ball unlocks the bridge. Can now drop this here, maybe? Dude, <laughs> it's in the video game. Holy shit. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, at this point, what happens if you if you roll it? Parrot kills insect. Is that a good outcome for us? It's not good because we didn't get the ball. Okay. Interact. Go back. We we'll leave it there. Not sure we achieved anything. Okay, you know what? Go back. Take me back. So we need to. Can we? Can we jump? Again, can you control the parrot? So if you now roll it back, you don't have... So there must be a way in which you can get the... Like the energy ball within the game. Like right now, you roll it back. Is it because the parrot, the parrot is there? I'm assuming that like the ball thing is actually the energy, isn't it? I think there is something I'm missing in the detail of the game that I'm not fully getting. If you roll it back... Oh, that's the ball. The white thing is the ball. Okay, hold on, hold on. You got the ball. Let's go. Okay. Dude, that's pretty cool. So you grab it here. 
And you got it, you got it. It's so creative, man. Like, the different ways you interact with... with the scenery and stuff. Super Silly Crow. SSC. Oh, now the dude has the lantern. Rolls are switched. So this time it's that guy jumping around. Maybe we gotta leave you there? How about that? We'll, we'll try it. So we'll try leaving you here. Let's roll it. Oh no. We need to... I got it. Okay, so we somehow need to pick up an energy ball with this dude. Keep going. We missed it. We missed it. There was something else. Huh. Oh, we didn't place the thing on the thing. I understand. That explains a lot. Okay. Now, that said, I didn't see a, an energy ball this time, but I'm sure we missed it. Okay. We could leave it there, but it doesn't help us. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So we needed to come here first, I understand. Holy shit, okay, so it falls... ...right there. Therefore, we need the... ...cube to be right in that point... ...in space. Like so, right under there. Right? When we get to this point... It falls, captures it, and now has it forever. Very cool. Okay, roll it back. You use it for the bridge, right? But now, I mean... Let, let's just try to use this thing and see what, what happens. We're back in control of this. Okay, okay. So we can go like so. Drop it there. Give it to the woman. You roll it back. Like... So, oh. are we able to roll back far enough so that it, it captures it? We might not be, okay. And there isn't really a way to drop it all the way down, okay. I do see the problem. And we don't have something over here, do we? That can help. So if we just keep walking though... Okay, something else happens. 
Oh, okay. I mean, I, I didn't realize they can walk so far. Hello, she's waving at us. We need a ball before we get to this point. So when this stuff falls, is there... I can see something there, but I'm not seeing an energy ball. What about like if we leave it right here? Oh, there's something there we can interact with. Okay, let's let's do that. I didn't see that. Okay. Huh. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. He's got it. He's got it. You roll it back and you're gonna need That thing falls right about there. Where would it... Where would we place it? Okay, let me pay a little bit more attention. Oh, we actually got it. Okay. Roll it forward all the way, and we should have it. Dude, all this chocolate and stuff is making me really hungry. <laughs> I think we're gonna wrap the video after this puzzle. Get the, get the energy, my dude. Wait, can you not get it? You did not pick up the... It didn't seem like I could. Can we not pick it up? Ooh... Did something wrong. It's the maximum it goes. Okay, I mean, we should be able to just leave it there and then pick it up, right? We go like this. Negatory. So you need to pick it up with the girl. Okay. Go back even further. Go... Take it back, take it back. Oh, got it. Yeah, that's a ticket. And another one down. Well, I think this is a good place as any to leave the video. Hopefully it gave you a little bit of an idea what the game mechanics are and what the game has to offer. Of course, very early on, we're just dipping our feet in the, in the water here. But I'm digging it so far. As I said, I was gonna buy the game regardless, but I'm very grateful for, for the code that was provided to me and uh, the ability to play the game. Definitely enjoying it. Definitely gonna be playing it more on the channel and on my own time. Hopefully, again, it gave you some form of information. Let me know down below what you think. Is this up your alley or not? If you have any further questions, I'd be happy to have a conversation down below. Thank you for watching, and as always, catch you next time.